yo what is up guys blade here back with a new video and uh, believe it or not this is the first video of the year from me and i know i've been active for um inactive for a little bit here and there i've been busy with school and testing and all that stuff but um i'm back on the video grind and i have a lot of videos planned out to upload um, one already ready for next week uh, so stay tuned for that um, so anyways in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to make your custom um, resource packs for Minecraft or texture packs uh, however you want to call that and um, yeah so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is go to your um, percent app data folder this percent app data percent and go into your dot Minecraft folder and you want to go into your resource packs folder if you don't have this folder just make one um, folder in here color resource packs um, you should have it so we're gonna go into that and we're just gonna leave it there now we're gonna go to our browser here and um, I left a link uh, two links down below in the description one is for paint.net which is a photo manipulation program I'm going to be using this to you know edit the texture packs and stuff and um, it's really needed so you need to download this and I'll um, the links down below again and um, after you've gotten here just click on free download and you should download it and install it after you've done that um, you need WinRAR if you don't have WinRAR I include the link for it as well um, make sure you know what version of uh, what computer you have 32 or 64 bit and download it accordingly and install it and um, after you've gotten those two let's go back to our resource packs folder here and we're going to want to make a new folder in here so right click new folder name it whatever you want um tutorial pack or whatever you want um you want to name your research pack so after you have done that uh you want to go into that folder all right now you want to open up notepad on your computer so notepad there we go now you want to copy a um code that i will provide in the description down below so i'm going to right click and just paste in that code like so and it should look like this now um what i'm going to do is just change to this right here this is a description of your uh research pack i'm just call it um display there we go now we're going to go to file save as and um, we're going to go to where we have actually i'm just going to save to your desktop here choose your desktop and then uh make sure save as type is all files and you want to name the pack dot mc meta or meta whatever um hit save and there you go it should save to my desktop like so right here and we're going to get that and drop it into the tutorial pack or the resource pack folder that we made and now what you can do this part is optional but you can actually make a icon for your um for your resource pack so uh, this is where you're going to need paint.net so open up paint.net make sure you have installed it and once you have opened it up you want to go to file new and you want to put the width to 128 by 128 and um, yeah so 128 by 128 I'm gonna hit ok this should open up a blank um, document once this opens up you hit Control a on your keyboard then hit delete this will make it transparent and from here you can just put in whatever you want um, what I'm going to do is actually open up a picture that I already have saved right here and I'm going to just change the size of this so I can do that by going to image resize and changing that to 128 128 by 128 hit okay there we go we're gonna to go to file um, save as save it to the desktop here and I'm gonna name this pack dot PNG make sure it is save as type PNG not anything else and we're gonna hit save and we're gonna hit okay and there we go it's saved now we're going to get that uh, picture and drop it into the folder again with the um, pack mc meta and now we have the pack.png all right now what you want to do is open up another folder like so go back to your uh, minecraft directory so uh, your dot minecraft folder go into versions and choose the current version that you're using for minecraft i'm using 1.8.9 uh, make sure you don't get an Optifine or a Forge version, just a regular default one, uh, a regular vanilla one. So let's go into the 1.8.9 here. You'll see a jar file. You want to right click on that and open with WinRAR. You will not have this option if you didn't install WinRAR, so be sure you install that. Open with WinRAR, then once you're in here, um, you'll see an assets folder right here, the top one right there. So we're going to just drop, uh, drag and drop that into the tutorial pack or the research pack folder like so and there you go the S, uh, folder is now in your um, uh, pack so let's go into it 
and we're gonna go into Minecraft. And once you're in this folder, you can now pretty much edit anything that you want for your texture pack. So you can go to the text folder right here. You can edit the credits if you want to. Um, I'm gonna do that. Uh, you can edit the splash text. Um, this is the thing that appears when you uh, when you're on the tile screen of Minecraft. So I'll just put something. Um, save that. You can add multiple by just space um, entering and editing another one. Yeah. So what you want to face your attention to the most is the textures folder. So you're going to go into that, and this is where you'll find everything that you can actually edit. Um, if you actually go into the other ones, you'll see like a bunch of JSON files, which you probably don't want to mess with. But yes, yeah, so we're going to go into the textures folder here, and you can see a bunch of stuff that you can edit. You can edit every single box that's in the game. You can um, edit the effects. You can edit the environment, the terrain, um, all the mobs and everything. You can also edit the GUI. I believe it has the containers right here as well. And you can edit a bunch of stuff. So um, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, me editing the default grass block. So let me search that in the blocks folder. There we go, grass side. I'm going to now, what you want to do is open, when once you find something to that you want to edit, you're gonna open up paint.net and go ahead and drag that PNG into paint.net. But be sure it's a new file, uh, new file. there's no document here, just blank, and just go ahead and drag it like so. Then you just wanna control plus to zoom in, and now you can edit to your heart's desire. So there we go, that's how I want my grass block to look like. And um, so what you want to do is go ahead and click on file and just click on save. And you wanna hit okay. And there you go, it's saved. And let's exit out of that. If you refresh right here, it should change to that icon right there like so. Okay, after you're done editing everything that you want to edit, you can just pretty much exit out of this folder like so. Go ahead and open up Minecraft and then load into the profile that is um, the vanilla Minecraft version that you have made your resource pack. So minus 1.8.9. So we're going to go ahead and go into that. Ignore the forge thing. It's actually not forge. And once you're on the menu, you want to go to options, resource packs. And there we have my resource pack right there. Tutorial pack, displays tutorial pack. And there's my icon. We're going to click on this and then we're going to hit done. It will load for a little bit. And after it's done loading, we're going to hit done again. I want to go into single player and just load up the world. Once we're in our world, as you can see, our resource pack has successfully updated. You can see the grass blocks do look like that. And if I go into my inventory here, I also edited the um, GUI. Now it looks red, which is pretty cool. And if you pay attention to the hearts on my screen, um, you can see that there are a different color, which I've edited as well. There we go. I've edited the diamond sword as well, and there we go. Now it looks red, it looks pretty freaking awesome. And that's pretty much how you make your own resource pack. And if we actually exit out of this, save and quit to title, you can see that my splash screen has um, changed to whatever I put in the splash text um, document. So youtube.com slash xblade. And um, there you go. So that's how you make your own resource pack. And um, if you ever do want to make your resource pack public, what you can do is actually um, go into your resource packs here and right click on that and add to archive and make this a zip folder and just hit OK. And then you can just upload this to Planet Minecraft or your Dropbox or wherever you want and your friends can download it and use it. So that's pretty much how you make your research pack. Um, if you like this video, if it helped you guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new and until guys, I'll be back with a new video. Peace.